Okay, in this video we're asked to find where the line R equals 1, 2, 4 plus T, 1, 1, 2 intersects the plane X plus 3Y minus 4Z equal to 5. So what I'm doing, I'm going to draw the plane here and I want to draw the line as well. Boom, boom, boom. Intersects here and then continues on through the plane. So here it's below, through, and we want to find this point. And let's call it X naught y naught z naught how are we going to find that plane sorry how are we going to find that point so the way we go about it is let's look at the equation of the plane and here it's given in parametric form so r of t is equal to 1 plus t 1 plus t in the i component 2 plus t in the j component and 4 plus 2t in the k component, oh sorry, 4 plus 2t in the k component. Okay, the next thing to remember is that r is our position vector and it's always given as x of t, y of t, z of t. So r is always equal to x, y, z and here we've got it parameterized. So it's going to be x of t, y of t, z of t. We saw when we found the parametric representation of a plane, there was two parameters, s and t. So x was a function of s and t, y was a function of s and t, z also a function of s and t. So what we want to do is we've got to realize that on the line, these two things are equal. The i components are equal, the j components are equal, and the k components. So x is equal to 1 plus t, y is equal to 2 plus t, and z is equal to 4 plus 2t. What we're going to do is we're going to sub it into the equation of the plane. x plus 3y minus 4z equal to 5. Okay, so on the plane, all the x, y, z points, there's only one of them that shares the point with the line. So, and all the x, y, z on the line are given by this formula. So let's sub that into here. So x is equal to 1 plus t. So I've got 1 plus t plus 3 times y, which is 2 plus t minus 4 times z, which is 4 plus t, uh, 2t, okay. equal to 5. So we just, let's expand this out and solve for t. So I've got 1 plus t plus 6 plus 3t minus 16 minus 8t equal to 5. So t plus 3t is 4t, minus 8t will give me negative 4t. 1 plus 6 minus 16 is uh, 7 minus 16 is, sorry I'm going blank, 6 minus 16 minus 7 is 9, so negative 9, equal to 5. Okay, so therefore, uh, let me just check that, 7 minus 16, yeah, negative 9, <laughs> so negative 4t is equal to 9 plus 5, 14, so t is equal to negative 14 on 4, or 7 on 2. So that means that along the line, when t is equal to negative 7 on 2, we're at the point of intersection. So how do we get the point? Well, we know the t value of the line, and that must be the point on the plane. So we just need to evaluate the line at t equal to negative 7 on 2. So that equals 2. In the i component, 1 minus 7 on 2. 2 plus or 2 minus 7 on 2 and 4 plus 2 times negative 7 on 2. So 1 minus 7 on 2 is 2 on 2, so negative 5 on 2. 2 minus 7 on 2 is 14, uh, sorry, 4 minus 7, so negative 3 on 2. And 2 and 2 cancel here, and I'm left with 4 minus 7, so negative 3. And that is the point x naught, y naught, z naught of intersection. Alright, so let's just verify it. So I'll just uh, highlight that. So that's the point of intersection. And how can we check it? Well, it definitely lies on the line because we just solved for that. But what we want to do is sub those x, y, z values into the equation of the plane and see what we get out. So x is equal to negative 5 on 2. So negative 5 on 2 plus 3 times y which was negative 3 on 2 and z is negative 3 so negative 3 on 2 
minus 4z, so plus 4 times, oh, I'll write it out, minus 4 times negative 3. And we need this to equal 5, so let's check that. Negative 5 on 2, minus 9 on 2, plus 12 is equal to minus 5 minus 9 is equal to negative 14 on 2 plus 12 that's equal to negative 7 12 minus 7 is indeed 5 so that means that point negative 5 2 negative 3 on 2 negative 3 is on the line and it's on the plane hence it must be the point of intersection so have a go at quest the next question and check it with the solutions online. Good luck.